Good day, Harlequin here. Welcome to Rising Phoenix Labs, where we endeavor to dissect and analyze um, different character gimmicks and how to counter them. Today we're looking at uh, martial law. He'll be our subject for today. Um, law is a very um, annoying character because he has a, a lot of unusual gimmicks which if you don't know how to get around can be um, very um, difficult to deal with in a match particularly if you're playing online maybe with a lot of lag. Um, law is a character who benefits a lot from having lag um, in place so um, I'm going to go through some of his sort of most common gimmicks and how to get around them. The first move we're going to take a look at is Law's sweep move um, called Dragon's Tail and it's done by doing down back four like this. This is a move I'm sure a lot of you will recognize. If you're playing a Law player I, I guarantee you, I 100% guarantee that this move or this extension will come out in the match at some point. So um, it will be good to learn how to deal with it. So this move, um, it's actually quite slow. So you can, um, in theory, block it on reaction. And it's also extremely unsafe and launch punishable. If you um, block the move, it's uh, minus 37 frames, meaning you have 37 free frames to do whatever you like to punish it. So the best thing to do would be um, to do your character's um, heaviest or slowest launcher um, to deal with that, either from um, crouch or from um, standing. So let's just record this so I can show you what I mean. Just reset. So this, you see, note how um, vulnerable Law is when you've blocked that. You have all of those frames whilst he's staggering to um, launch them. So if you're playing Shall You, you can do um, while standing two, but you have to hold down the two to get the launcher. If you just um, press two while standing two, you'll just get this and you won't launch. But if you want to launch, you have to hold it down. So block and then hold down. Alternatively, um, you can hold back to go to reset to neutral if you don't want to go into back turned. But I believe it does the same damage anyway, so it's just preference really. Like this. Very easy. Block, punish. Uh, Law's next move is um, forward forward three, which is his power crush armored move. You can see because of the uh, sparks that come off it, the white sparks. So um, if you try and attack through this move, um, it will power through it and um, they won't be damaged by it, so to speak. So this move is very um, annoying because um, like I said, it's armored and also it causes a wall bound. I'll try and get Shao Yu to the wall so I can show you. So, so as you can see, it wall bound so you can get um, wall combos off of that, uh, which can be quite devastating. So um, it's important to learn how to deal with it. Um, this move, um, it is quite, it's very punishable actually. On um, block, it's minus 17. So if your character has a launcher that's um, 17 frames or less, you can basically launch it. Most hop kicks are like 16 or 15 frames, so you can punish it with a hop kick. Or you ha if you have a launcher that's um, uh, 15 frames, you can use that. But you do have to bear in mind, let me record just to show you. So you have to bear in mind that this move causes pushback on block. So you can't punish this with everything. Um, you have to bear in mind, you have to use a punish really that has enough range to catch Law. So if you're Xiaoyu, you, you can do um, down forward 2-1 to catch him. Or you can do standing 3 as well if you want to. But if you want the maximum um, outcome, I would recommend trying to launch because it's sort of very very punishable so I would recommend trying to launch it so you can launch with down forward 2 1 or like I say if your character has a launcher that's sort of um, 17 frames or less and has enough range to reach then go ahead and use that all right it's time for our first test so um, down back four 
Uh, like we said before, it is a low move, so um, you block low to counter it, and then forward forward three, um, you do just the standing block and then punish it. So um, you could a smart law would use um, sword forward, forward forward three to um, punish someone who's trying to maybe trying thinking about blocking a um, dragon's tail. So um, you have to be careful about this mix up that they might do to try and catch you off guard. So let's do a test to um, test how we can respond to this. So let's record a dragon's tail and then let's record a forward forward three and let's set the interval to short to make it really hard and let's see if we can block and punish five dragon's tails and then five of the forward forward threes. Oh, he loves 443. <laughs> there we go. So it's not it's not too hard to do. Oops, I didn't block it that time. And there I lost it. The next move is called um uh, well, it's done from a stance called um Dragon's Charge, which is this this um, temporary transition stance where he does this sort of readying motion, not that this and it's done by doing down uh, 1 plus 2 together and what you'll find um, a lot of laws like to do is to do that stance and then do forward 4 and it does this very strong lunging kick which will wall splat, I don't think it wall bounds though no, it just splats um, it's got a lot of range and it kind of comes out of nowhere. It's almost like a um, instant while running kick. A lot of characters like to do while running kicks like that. But this this move is like an instant while running kick. So Laws love doing it. It's very very powerful. But um, it's quite easy to get around though because as you can see, it hits high. So you can um, basically duck it. Or if your character has a low stance, you can stance out of it. Or um, yeah, basically, uh, you could potentially um, low crush, um, high crush it as well. But I haven't tested that thoroughly yet. So most reliable thing to do would be to duck or to um, stance out of it. So um, let's give that a go. Uh, let me just record that real quick. So as you can see, you can basically just duck it and punish. Duck and punish. Oh, that's another thing as well. This move, if you do happen to block it, um, it is um, plus on, um, on block. So if I show you the frames, let him do it again. So I'm at minus seven, which is very unusual for a blocked move. Usually you're in plus, um, your character's in plus after a blocked move, but this is minus, meaning that he has the advantage even though you've blocked it, which is an unusual situation, but it means um, it's a frame trap. So if you, this is not an ideal situation, if you block this move, you want to avoid trying to punish it because it's highly likely he's going to follow up with another move because he's at an advantage. So you don't really want to be blocking this. You want to, um, you want to duck and punish or um, stance out of it and punish. Which shall you, if she does her out of Phoenix out of this, it causes like a cross up type situation, which can be quite stylish and can really um, scare the law into not spamming it. But you have to get the timing down. The next move we're going to take a look at is um, Law's forward one plus two. Now, this move, um, similar to this one, 
is um, a frame trap. It's um, plus on block, so it's essentially a stun. And it's very, very strong because it comes out mid. It comes out pretty fast as well. It's very spammable, and um, it is also a counter hit launcher. Um, if I try and set that up, let me record one. And I'll try and show you. So it launches on counter hit. So it's, it's very, very deadly move. Very, very versatile. So um, with this move, what you'll find is Laws will set up by doing it and then immediately doing another move. This move as well, if you hold down, it can go into a crouching state. So you can do crouching moves or you can do while standing moves. So it's a move that easily facilitates mix-ups and follow-up attacks, making it even more dangerous. So um, a law could basically do this and then immediately go into while standing to catch you off. And they're much more likely to be able to pull off the while standing move because they've stunned you and, you're, and they're plus on block like this. So it's very, um, very tricky to deal with. So they can go while standing. Um, with the while standing move, um, it's actually very, very, very punishable. It's minus 18. So you could, the, base, the, the best way to deal with this is to stay calm. Do not try and punish this move because it's unlikely you'll get a punish out because they're, they're at the advantage when they're like this. So you just have to respect it and wait for the follow up. You can react and punish to punish the follow up move, but don't react to this move. Just respect it and see what comes next. Just be patient. You don't have to punish everything. These these kind of moves are anti-punish because they they stop you from doing follow-up moves. They stun you. Okay, so respect this move and then wait for what comes next. And it's how you react to what comes next is how you basically indirectly punish this move. Okay, so uh, a law might do that and then while standing. Well, the while standing two move is uh, minus 18, so that's very punishable. So uh, let me record one like this. Oops, helps to block it. <laughs> so you just punish it. Just punish it, very easy. You recover in standing after punishing the while standing too. So just do your normal standing um, 15 frame. If you have a 17 frame, go for it. Not a lot of characters do though. I don't think anyone does. Um, so don't don't try and don't try and punish it because they they might be able to catch you with something. That's what I would recommend. Wait for what comes next, and then punish that instead. Another thing um, a law might try and do um, after this is 4-3-4. Uh, it's a triple high string, uh, but the reason why this move is annoying is because it's very, very quick, for one, and also um, it's a counter hit launcher. So um, usually you'll find most players, after they do a frame trap type move, They'll do a move that can be counter hit law that can become a counter hit launcher as well. So something like this is something that's very easily done after this because it's very fast. So if they catch you pressing buttons, you're going to get launched. So you have to be careful with that as well. So that's another reason why you shouldn't um, just punish forward one plus two. So if they did decide to do that. Uh, it's quite easy to get around actually because it's a triple high so um, you could let me just record it oh did something extra on the end there so basically block the first hit and you can you can decide to um, block the first two hits and then duck the last hit that's probably the safest thing to do Or you can do a stance out of it as well. Very simple. Because it's a triple high, it leaves him quite vulnerable, to be honest. To follow up attacks. But like I said, don't punish the forward 1 plus 2. Punish what comes next. If you try and punish the forward 1 plus 2, you'll get launched. There, I try and just do a simple, simple uh, while standing 1 which is 13 frames and that got me launched because it's um, the 434 is counter hit launchable. See? So don't, don't do that. Just wait wait for what comes next 
and then react accordingly. The next move is extremely, extremely annoying because same with this, it's very uh, versatile and um, very very hard to get around if you don't know what it's about. And that move is um, down 2-3. Now the reason why this move is unique is because um, of the first part which is the down 2 which is extremely fast, I believe it's 11 frames. So this string is an essentially an 11 frame launcher which even just saying that sounds really 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 dangerous. So it's from down two. It's a special mid. As you can see, it's a green spark. Most mids um, are yellow spark, but this one's green spark, meaning it's a special mid, meaning um, it can be low parried. It can be low crushed. So it has some low properties, but it's technically um, a mid. So you can, I believe, block, block it low and also block it standing. Let's, let's test it out. Um, so believe it hasn't got good range so you can block it low and you can also block it standing so it's a special mid okay so um, this move as well the reason why it's so annoying is because it low crushes with this it goes over um, j um, goes under rather um, jabs and things so if you're trying to punish something safe most characters have um, jabs right to as their basic 10 frame punish so they might try if they're unsure about a move's punishability they may just go for the one two or the one two two or whatever to start off with to see if they can just gauge how many frames it is but you can't jab after whilst law is doing this because it will crush it basically so uh, let me just record it uh, or rather let me record the setup so um, a lot of laws will set it, this move up with something else first so they might do um, back 2-1 so this move it looks very punishable so um, a player may try and punish that with a jab and then they'll get crushed when law does that afterwards so if I record this so I'll do back 2-1 and then down 2-3 like this and I'll just demonstrate how annoying this can be. So I want to punish that with my with my jab. Look what happens. I get launched. It doesn't even come out. It's very, very, very strong. This is my fastest punish, and I can't punish because it because of the low crush of the special mid. And it also launches me, so he'll get a full combo, probably get me to the wall for really, really high damage. So, how do you get around it? So, one way you can get around it is by dealing with the setup move. So, in this case, it's um, back to one, which is um, mid high. So, you could basically duck the mid part, the high part of it, and punish that. Or, uh, if you want to be patient, the special mid, um, it's you can low parry it like this, which is unusual for a mid, but you can low parry it because it's a special mid. Um, you can uh, cross it up so you can jump over it if you want like this that's if you're certain that it's it is going to be that particular move obviously you can't do that for everything so if you wanted to you could jump over it you could um, low crush it so you can do a move that has um, jumping attached to it so you can do shall use um, up forward three to get a counter hit launcher or you can do shall use up forward 3-4 to just get a knockdown. Uh, in this case, I think probably the counter hit launcher is preferable because there's obviously more damage. Um, what else you can do? So you can crush it, you can parry it, you can cross it up. Uh, you can hop kick if you want. So just after the setup move, when you know the special low is coming, just hop kick. Easy. Very, very easy. Um, or, or if all else fails, then just block it and punish it because uh, it is very punishable as well. So let's turn the frames back on. So um, on block, the down two three is minus fifteen. So you can um, basically do shall use down four two one. You can do um, standing three to punish. 
you can do down four. Oh, I already said that one. <laughs> you can do um, back four four to punish it. Only after you block the whole string. Obviously, don't try and interrupt it because you might get launched. I mean, certain times it will clash because the mid is at the same level as the hitbox of the mid of the special throw. Um, so sometimes you'll get a clash. But what you want to do is wait. If you want to wait to punish it, wait till the end and then punish like so. Okay, let's try and deal with this um, setup um, in as many different ways as possible. So we'll try and do low parry, we'll try and do hop kick, we'll try and do cross up, we'll try and do everything. Let's see. Um, another string that you might see a lord do is his um, junkyard string, which is back to three four, and it is um, mid low mid. Um, it can be a little bit annoying, but it's not a natural combo, so you can block um, the last two hits of it if you like. So if I record this. So if you want to, you can block the low and the mid, the last mid, even if you get hit by the first hit. Okay, the, the, the low is guaranteed if you get hit by the first hit, but the last hit you can block if you want, like this. Best way to deal with this is just the low parry, the um, low, because you can't actually interrupt it by crushing it with anything um, you can't block punish it as well because there isn't enough time before blocking it and the last mid kick coming out so the best thing to do is just to um, low parry it very easy now uh, Law's mix up game um, as you can imagine is fairly strong um, he's got mix ups from back turns which can be very um, difficult to deal with sometimes if he does um, down back two it leads him into um, back turn stance very very easily similar to Xiaoyu's down forward one it's like a mid poke that can go into back turned it doesn't look like it has a lot of range though so they'll probably use it up close, maybe to pressure at the wall or something. And from back turned, they can do um, down four to do this uh, sweeping low, which I believe is a launcher. And then, um, or they can do two two to do this move, which is wall splat. So two very, very strong options from back turn stance. With the low, the low is minus 15, so if you block that, you can block it with a while standing move that's 15 frames or less. So you can do shall use while standing 4, you can do her while standing 1 4. I'll just record it real quick. So I've just forgotten the input of it. There we go. <laughs> so. Go. So you can do while standing 4 or you can do while standing 1-4 if you want like this now if they do the uh, mid mix up which is down back 2 and then 2-2 two, two, that move is minus 17 so you can do a 17 frame uh, launcher or anything any launcher that's 17 frames or less you can use so let's record that as well Just your staple down for a 2 1 will do the trick. Or you can also do this. Very easy. So the low, the low comes out eh, relatively slowly. So you can, in theory, do it on reaction as well. So um, let's test this out. Let's do, uh, okay, I've recorded that one already. Let's do the low and we will react to it.
pretty easy. Pretty easy. Okie doke. Last but not least, let's go over some of Law's special grabs. He has some very annoying grabs. So he's got um, this one, which is four two two plus three, which is this very um, very annoying throw that a lot of trolls will use. And at this throw, it looks like a special throw, but you actually break it by pressing one, so um, or square button. So it's actually quite easy, and it's it's quite unusual because it's um, throws are highs, right? But it's initiated using his leg, because he steps on you and uses you as like a, a vaulting thing to jump off of. So it's um, a good visual cue to see um, when the throw is coming in. So when you see his knee move, so if you see without the throw, you see his knee moves. So if you see that, just press one or square that to break it let's record one like this you have to be quick though so it might be hard to do on reaction let's record it again a bit quicker There you go. So you just break with one. When you see his knee move, break with one. Um, another um, throw that Laws might like to do is down forward one plus two, which is this like annoying move. All his moves are annoying. And it's very disrespectful as well. So they'll probably do this in match. This throw is a special throw, so you break it with um, 1 plus 2 together. So let's record one of these. Like this, 1 plus 2. When the throw comes in. Like that. So let's try and mix it up and do the forward, the four two plus three throw with the other one and see if we can do it on reaction. Throw break um, training is very, very good in my opinion for training your reactions. But you can't get skittish, otherwise you might get caught. Uh, uh.